All right, Coach. Uh, tough loss today to California. A really good team. Uh, what are some thoughts after today? Yeah, I'd agree. Very tough loss. Um, tough in the sense that yeah, it's very, they're very good. They're a talented team, top to bottom. That lineup's pretty impressive, uh, and they're going to have a depth of pitching. So no matter who they bring in, it's not going to be an easy test to score runs on. We knew that coming in, but tight game. You know, tight game for five innings. 5-3 at the end of five, had JT back in the lineup for since the first game of the year, first time back, and he hits a two-run homer, so that was an awesome jolt for the team, taking it from 5-1 to 5-3. Uh, and we needed that shutdown inning the next inning, and we didn't just get it. We were an out away, uh, put the first two guys on, and then Max Jones came in with two on, nobody out, and got within one pitch of getting us out of there, and the kid, tough lineup. If you put people on base, it's hard to get extra outs, and he – Broke it back open to 7-3, and we really couldn't find any traction after that. But, um, you know, we, we got to get better to beat teams like that, that's for sure. You mentioned JT um, back in the lineup since that first game of the season. Um, obviously performed well, hit that two-run home run to get you guys back in the game in the fifth. Um, what does he bring to the table, I mean, moving forward, um, like in the, in the lineup at that position? Yeah, JT has a obvious level of talent, especially in the batter's box he can hit. Uh, he has speed, he can hit for power, he can hit for average. Um, strikeouts to walk ratio is usually pretty good for him. So, I mean, losing him in the second at bat of the season early on was tough for the offense, to say the least. And he's just a dynamic we haven't had. Hopefully it continues for him. We'll see how he feels coming out of it. I mean, I, I love his attitude. I love his energy. That's really what he brings the most of, aside from his talent. And uh, he wanted to be with the team and back as fast as he could, so he chose – Medically, all the fastest options to be back on the field, um, you know, and that's what you really appreciate in a player, and I appreciate everything JT does for the guys, whether he's playing or not, but it's more fun when he's in the lineup. You had six guys on the mound today, um, pretty much a bullpen game um, with the series against Minnesota coming up this weekend. Um, what did you see from the guys uh, like from, from today, and especially Matt, who start, made the start today? Uh, Matt was, you know, I, I think his first inning was really good, and then he lost the zone a little, and uh, some of the base running flustered him a little, which he's usually pretty under control with. So um, uh, it was fine. It wasn't his best performance. It wasn't an awful performance. Uh, but that was the plan with him, couple innings, see how deep he can get us through. Um, with this type of lineup, you don't really want them to see the same guy a lot of times. So one time through the order for each of the guys we use was kind of the plan, but um, we could stick to it for the most part and then, Everyone else kind of just followed suit. It was hit or miss, put a guy on, and like I said, a, a lineup like that, 12 walks isn't going to cut it. You're going to – all our double-digit run games we give up usually have double-digit walks, so it's a common thread right there. Yeah, you mentioned those 12 walks. Um, how much was it just Cal being a very good, you know, good team, or was it just how our guys were struggling today? I'm sure it's a combination of both. I mean, I, I'll never know exactly what's going on mentally – in everybody's head as they're trying to perform. Were they nitpicking? Um, were we missing big? It seemed like we were missing big with some pitches. I'd have to rewatch from uh, a better camera angle than the dugout. But yeah, it's, it's probably that, you know, a good lineup, windy day, kind of small park to certain areas. That you, But it's a lesson to be learned. You can't nitpick. You got to go attack and trust your stuff and see what's going to happen. If a team's going to beat you, you want them to beat you through hitting and not put, you know, three hits and a run is better than two walks and a, and a double score and two runs. With these lopsided games, um, you know, you get to see a lot of guys in the lineup that may not play. Usually Nico picked up his first hit of his career. Um, what did you see some from the guys that, you know, aren't usually in the game? We're walking a fine line. I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, I didn't think the game was out of hand until very late. So um, sometimes you go to the bench just for a spark, just for a new look or a lefty righty type matchup or something like that. Uh, but I, we do play a lot of guys and a lot of other coaches we play against bring that up to me when they try and scout for us is how many offensive players we use on a consistent basis. So, um, yeah, some games in my head, we're splitting them in half anyway and just reading the situation. So that's why we did it. But yeah, trying to get guys with some Gamosius was injured early in the year, getting some people that haven't had you know, the double digit at bats yet at bats is kind of one of the benefits of a game like this for sure. Uh, coming up next, Minnesota series, uh, a team that, you know, can play well. They haven't necessarily played all that well at the start of the year so far. Um, what can we look forward to in that series? Um, uh, Minnesota is a highly talented Big Ten opponent. Uh, this year they're caught in a tough spot, so I don't think their uh, record is reflective of their talent level. Um, and they don't even have a bad record, but they've had to play their first 
this will be week six. So they played all five weeks on the road. They lost their home field situation for the first few months. So <laughs> when you're scrambling late for games, if you look at their schedule, they've been flying to the West Coast, to the East Coast, to Elon in North Carolina. So um, I don't know. They're, they'll be talented. We'll start really locking down on them now, scouting, uh, scouting report wise. But, you know, this part of the schedule going into it, I knew this was the plan, you know, play some early series home, get um, California based school if you're going on the road and then travel to Omaha, come back, play a top 25, top 40 team right now, Cal, and then play a Big Ten opponent at home and San Jose State again. Just kind of those eight tough games, uh, you know, talent wise that get us ready for Santa Clara and conference was the plan with that. So we know it's going to be tough, but that's what we're expecting.